hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do the drafting part so as you can see here the deck designing is over now we have to do the drafting so please be with me and uh, please subscribe and like and share my video so let us start now as you can see the here the duck size is 200 by 200 so let us start now just create one riser first rectangle which is equal to 200 by 200 okay so this is your uh, riser duct so for the exhaust duct we are showing like this not like return this is exhaust duct okay so you have to move this uh, duct uh, here the center of this riser okay and move again use uh, move command m for move p for previous so from the riser duct you have to keep minimum 200 move or you can keep uh, 150 as well so this is your riser okay so you can keep it 150 so this is the polyline so how to explode this just select all these lines okay and x enter so it will be exploded in the normal line okay so you can see here uh, i want to move this uh, I want to move this duct to the center of this riser so let me move this keep it here okay and you can see the duct size here 200 by 200 so just uh, offset this 200 divided by 2 each side you have to offset 100 100 okay and then you can extend this up to this riser okay and you can see this is not matching so let me select this riser okay and move this to here there you go now okay okay so you can see let me uh, delete the center line okay and now you can see this is a duck uh, 200 by 200 okay and then here the riser uh, there will be elbow or some uh, some tapping so elbow size is uh, 6 inch or 4 inch so what I am going to do I am going to make uh, one here line and offset 150 and this is the small duct so we have to keep radius 4 inch so 100 only here you go now next is this branch so this branch is 6 inch which is 150 divided by 2 so let us create this as well how to create the shoe neck i will show you here let me trim this first okay t a double enter trim this one and for the shoe neck i will show you here how to create the shoe neck there is uh, one here you can see the shoe neck let me rotate this okay so this is the shoe neck so you can see here the more uh, 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 the maximum duct size up to 600 the maximum shoe neck height is 100 mm and above 600 uh, 150 okay so here our duct size is uh, less than 600 so we will make it 4 inch 100 mm so make it offset 100 this line you have to offset this side and this line is this side okay and here you make one line from this corner to this corner okay and now you can select this line and erase this okay and you can create one line from this point to this point and now trim the extra line so this is your shoe neck and you can erase the center line and trim this line as well so this is your shoe neck and we have to create here one VCD so the VCD length of the VCD is 6 inch which is 150 okay so this is your VCD and you have to show here with polyline the VCD width of the polyline is 25 so 
so this side you can also make 25 and here is 25 enter so this is your vcd and here we have to create one flexible so how to create this let me trim this one first okay okay now you have to make one line from here to here okay and use the major command so this is your six inch so let me create one flexible first okay so here is the flexible where is here flexible duct let me create here one line okay which is equal to 150 okay and here you can offset 25 so this side is 25 and let us create how to create the flexible this is what i am showing here and here offset you can make 25 make one line from this corner to this corner like this and you have to erase this okay now you can use mirror command mi from this point to this point and no okay and you can make the block so use block command and here you can say flx 150 okay and uh, select object now you can select this enter and pick point so this is your peak point and okay use block before block and flx 150 specify peak point this is your peak point now select object so this is select object enter and create ok redefine the block do not redefine already defined so this is already defined so it is not accepting ok so anyway let me create flx in capital letter 150 now pick point so this is your pick point select object ok this is again not accepting so what I am going to do I will create FLX only ok select pick point so this is your pick point and specify the name must be at least one character long ok so FLX on 1500 I am let's say 1500 okay and now select the peak point so this is your peak point and uh, select object enter okay so this is created and now you can erase this okay now you have to use major command so me enter select object to measure and here I specify the length of the segment so which is 25 use measure command okay select object me type me measure command select object to measure invalid measure cannot measure that object is invalid okay use measure command select object i am going to select this one and now you can see here in the command bar it is asking the specify the length of the segment or b for block so i'm going to use b b for block and block name is flx 1500 okay and align the block with object so yes i want to align and length of the segment is 25 so you can see here the flexible is created okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this and I want to connect this one like this. Just delete the last segment, okay. And you can connect uh, like this, okay. Flexible, okay. And center line, you can delete this. So this is how we are creating the flexible okay so next is uh, you 
can move this one down here like this and next uh, uh, your uh, duct is here you can see 200 by 150 so let us offset this one 200 okay divided by 2 to this side offset and again this side and here the radius there will be one elbow so i want to use fillet command so and radius will be 100 mm i want to keep 100 here it go okay now you can offset use offset command and you can offset this side so this is your elbow okay use use line command l for line draw one line from this point to this point and you can move this one little bit this side draw one more line repeat the command and draw one more line from this point to this point okay now you can tr double enter trim the extra line so this is you go okay so this is your elbow and uh, let us move this one to not keep uh, near the elbow you can keep move little bit this side okay and uh, this is over now here you can see the duct size is 150 by 150 so here i want to make create this uh, branch duct first so 150 divided by 2 just offset this one this side and this side and the sunek is 100 mm so 100 mm you can offset to uh, create the sunek okay here from this point to this point okay and you can erase this line also the center line this one you can trim this extra line okay okay now draw a line just to make end cap and move this one 150 150 mm and trim the extra line tr double enter to trim the extra line okay so this is your shoe neck and uh, the maximum length of the flexible will be 1500 mm so just measure here uh, from the here to this disc valve what will be the distance so here is you can see the one meter so i want to keep uh, 500 or 400 flexible only so let me offset this one 600 duct i want to use 600 duct and the uh, remaining is flexible so here create one line okay and uh, you can select this one make it current layer flexible and again create one flexible here use measure command m is select object to measure and b for block and uh, flx 1500 yes and 25 so this is your flexible okay now you have to create one line from here to here just to join the duct and flexible okay okay and this center line you have to erase it so this is over now and this uh, this uh, disc valve will be connected directly to this uh, duct okay and here uh, you have to create one VCD so VCD length is 6 inch and use polyline PL to create the VCD between these two line here you go now 25 and this side is 25 so this is your VCD so this is over so this is how we are uh, designing the duct <laughs> and doing the designing for uh, exhaust ventilation duct designing and drafting so i hope you guys learned something from this video so please be with me and keep watching my full video also please like and share my video so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye